family night here at Sunday Salon. So, um, my father had Alzheimer's disease and died this past November. This is the first in a series of essays that uh, came out about that while while that was going on, um, and I wrote this piece. Uh, about a year and a half ago, which was about a year after his initial diagnosis. It's called Head Trip. <clears throat> My father had two head-on collisions in 11 months without remembering how he'd gotten into either of them before we could convince him to go to the neurologist. Despite my suspicions, I didn't learn it was Alzheimer's for sure until my oldest brother called to tell me on the day before Thanksgiving of 2003. The call came ten minutes before my parents were due to arrive at my apartment for a visit, and I was still on the phone when the doorbell rang. I opened the door, gave my mother a long, sad hug, and looked past her down the empty hallway. When I asked where my father was, she told me he was parking the car. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus, my brother said into my ear, and hung up. <laughs> it's fine, my mother whispered. What's the worst that could happen? I had no idea why she was whispering. What was clear was that, now that its time had finally arrived, this family trip through the maze of Alzheimer's was going to be stranger than I ever imagined. For starters, the Department of Motor Vehicles in Pennsylvania, where my parents live, doesn't consider two head-on collisions and an Alzheimer's diagnosis sufficient reason to revoke a driver's license. <laughs> Instead, they offer three chances to pass a driving test with an evaluator specifically trained to assess Alzheimer's patients. Don't worry, Dave, said my father's evaluator after my father failed twice. I know you can lick this. It's all in your mind. 